Hi everyone, in Laravel 11, we cannot directly start working with the APIs. So first we have to install API package with the help of command line. Only after that we can create and start working with the APIs in Laravel version 11. Reason being in Laravel 11 version. So whenever we are installing Laravel application or creating Laravel project, so API feature is not available by default. Once we will install this API package, only after that API feature is available in the Laravel application. So if you want to start work with the APIs in your Laravel application, you have to run uh, this install API package command. All right. So what we need to do in this part, first we will create a fresh application in Laravel. After that we will install API package, we will make a route for API, we will test it, this is working fine or not and we will just create a small tiny API also. And uh, then we will discuss some important interview questions. This is the Laravel 11 playlist and that will definitely help you out for Laravel job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part and that uh, that will definitely help you out for uh, job, project and interviews and all. All right. So uh, first let's install or create Laravel fresh application. So uh, here I'm not going to tell you step by step things to install Laravel application like how you have to install PHP, XAMPP and everything. So I'll directly jumping on this uh, installation document and I will run this command because I already told you the steps for installing Laravel and everything in this playlist. So if you'll go through with the uh, Laravel uh, 11 tutorial part 3 and 4 you will get to know everything step by step. So right now I am just running this uh, command directly and that will just install a fresh application in your project. So first I am just going to the dashboard and then clear outing all of these things and running this command and let me just stretch it a bit more and I am just changing the Laravel application name so I am just putting there blog then API. You can put any name to this project, whatever you want. It's not mandatory. You have to put their API at the last. I'm just keeping it API because we are going through the uh, API series. All right. And just hitting the enter. After that, you will see project is just started creating and uh, it will just hardly take few seconds. And that's all. Then you can go to this directly directory, which is flog API. And then we can just say ls. All right. After that, we can clean it and we can run code dot command on the terminal. If Visual Studio Code is installed in your system, then this project will be open in your VS Code editor. Right. So yeah, let me just clear it out. And uh, first, what I'll do there, I will just uh, open the terminal, or you can use this terminal also. The, this is the same thing. So I'm just uh, initializing the git there. So if you are not aware about git, don't worry. Don't use these three, four git command. Why I am using their git command so that I can show you after installing the API package, how many files we are uh, getting updated and creating in, uh, in the Laravel project. So just using there one, two more git commands, git dot and committing this code done with first commit we can then clean it all right so now we'll go to the second step which is installing api package so what we need to do for that again you can use this terminal or you can use the vs studio code terminal this is completely same now you can see that in the routes we have only two files console.php and web.php and now i am installing php artisan install colon api And now you can see that uh, there are six new files which is modified or created and now it's asking to migrate the data uh, for APIs. So you can say that yes or no, it's completely up to you because first we are creating the basic APIs and then we'll move on the database and all. So don't worry about this. You can say yes or no, this is completely okay, right? And see, this is the one more thing, please add the hash API token in the Laravel Centum traits in your user model. So what is this? We'll talk about uh, whenever we'll start working with the user model with the API. So don't worry about this. So you can just close it. And now you can see that 
six files are changed there or modified there first one api.php this is the new file which is created and the routes and in this file we'll write the route for api after that this is the migration file don't worry about this then uh, here you can see that centum this is basically now you can ask like what is centum and why we need this and in the app.js uh, yeah so first let's talk about centum see for now you can say that uh, this is for the security of the API. So whenever we are transferring or sharing the data between two platforms or in two uh, technologies, so we have to use some token encryption decryption with this tag token or you can sim in simple words, you can say that we are using some password so that our data uh, could be secure, right? So Centum is used for that and we'll talk about in detail in the upcoming part. Then API.php app.php there we are registering our api url then uh, uh, composer.log there just hash code or hash content is just changed and there laravel centum pack is installed in our composer.json file all right so the next thing that we need to do we have to check this is working fine or not so i'm running there with one command php artisan serve and now if i just run there you can see that this is completely working fine, right? So the next thing is how we can check our API is working or not. So go to the api.php and create a new route there. Route colon get or you can put any name there. So I'm just putting their test and their function. And inside this we can see that return. Uh, let me use their array to return this right or just for now you can say that anil siddhu or something right so let me yeah and we have to put their semicolon also and if i just come to the browser put their api and then test you can see that anil siddhu is there so this is not in json format as i shown you like uh, if you just put their dummy api for testing and uh, if you just search for some random APIs, uh, this is how actually uh, API data is look like. So for that, because, because this is a JSON format, so let's try to create small JSON format there. So you just need to make a array key, let's say name, and then we can say that um, Anil Siddhu as a value, and then you can say that channel And then you can see that code step by step. Yeah. And at last, if you put semicolon and you will refresh this, now you can see that we are getting the almost same kind of data, right? This is a little bit zoomed, I guess. So if you just go back there, this is the same font size and everything for the JSON data. So, or you can say that this is a tiny, small, static API also. So in upcoming part, we'll get this data from the database uh, and we'll see how we can work with the get, post, put API method, authentication token and everything. So stay uh, tuned with us and please subscribe my channel, like this video, share your feedback in comment section. And this is my Paytm number for donation. Thank you guys.